a bit angry. I can, I have instantly called a girl. I've been able to take girls home upon meeting them. I had a relationship for five years, but I still live in my fucking mum's house. And the longest I've ever held a job was four months. It's almost as if I was told that if I just got a woman to love me, all my problems would be solved. And now I'm like, I'm, I'm already kind of getting on top of it slowly, but now I can't even easily talk to girls because I know that I've been totally tricked into thinking that just fucking a girl hard enough would give me the ability to, I, I don't, I don't know where I got this idea from. I don't know how this kind of formulated in my head because it doesn't really make any sense, but I just thought if I could get a girl to love me or if I could have sex with enough women, I would be able to somehow become a rich man. Somehow that would lead to me. Like I, I know that sounds extremely stupid. That sounds extremely dumb. But I actually thought that, I actually thought that if I just was able to, if I, if like girls liked me enough or I was enough of a hit with women, that would somehow give me agency over my life. And that's, this is probably just some classical Freud, like I haven't been raised properly and I was taught some, I was just, um, that as well, that berates my family, which I don't want to do. I don't want to speak badly about my parents, but no, not, but I don't, I don't want to speak. I don't care to speak badly about my parents. Um, but for whatever reason, I just wasn't I, like, I don't know, like just end up thinking that if I just get enough, uh, and then, and then you end up in a situation like I'm in where I realized that my ability to do stuff and my being liked by women are completely different things. And so, as I say, I find it very hard to talk to women now because I know that it's like I wanted to be like a complete hot shot with money and a place to live and do whatever the fuck I wanted with my life. You know, Andrew Tate minus the <laughs> minus the stuff I don't like about him and stuff, you know. Wow, I can't believe I said that. But, you know. I don't know. I think he, I mean, me and a friend were talking about him a while ago. Like, he, he's doing some things right. I don't agree with the, I don't agree with his points of view on life, but I don't know, having fast cars and a nice house. I mean, that's a bit like, it's a bit banal and shit. I think it's a bit, in certain respects to me, as someone who's like a musician and a creative type, it's a bit tasteless. But, you know, Lamborghinis are cool and nice, huge mansions are nice. You know what I mean? It's pretty rad. Hot girls are great too, whatever. But the ability to be wealthy doesn't come from chasing women as well. <laughs> Unless you're a, a brilliant pickup artist. <laughs> but like, yeah, so I, I, I made a mistake. <laughs> like, well, I didn't make a mistake. I had no choice. This is genuinely what I believed. Like, I believed if I could just get a woman to love me. Uh, all my problems would be sorted out. Like somehow I'd become a millionaire or a billionaire or something. This makes no fucking sense. And I know this and I know how dumb it sounds now, but that's genuinely my thought. So now I'm dividing my attention onto things that will actually get me the results I always wanted. I don't know. Cause as well, as well, it's very subconscious. There's just this subconscious thing of thinking like, it feels so good. So surely it must lead to some kind of nirvana of bliss, but your ability to do well with girls and have relationships with women and your ability to generate money aren't necessarily correlated, um, at least, like, at first anyway. Like, you know, it's almost... You know, I want to live a badass fucking, like, life, but to do that, I need to be a badass and I need to put the work in towards that, you know. And I didn't realize the mistake. I, I just, it's not even my fault that I'm not really living the way I want to live, to be honest. Like, I fully, I just believed the wrong things and I didn't understand certain things about the way the universe and 
life worked and I just thought, you know, if a girl loved me or I was in a good relationship, that would, then no. Or if I got a girl to fuck me, no. It's like one night stands are just one night stands and relationships are just relationships. And, you know, like, nothing worse than spending a whole relationship convincing yourself that everything will sort itself out on the money front, on the way you live front, on the taking her on dates front, on the all the other things front, only to find that, like, like yeah, I'm very angry about that. I'm not even angry at my ex, because it was my ex who made me realise this, who made me realise, like, wow, like, I've made you my world, and, and not only are you, like, um, because, because, because fuck, it's like, she wasn't, I, I'm di- I did, I unconsciously, unknowingly, accidentally did things that lead to being left because I was not being myself. I mean, it's kind of worse than that, right? Like, I, like just, just fully going and running with and buying into. Like, I'm phrasing this too nicely, man. Like, it, it, it's like I just took something that just doesn't work and I just put all my cards, I bet all my cards on it. You know, like, I bet everything on, like, getting this girl to love me and I just didn't have any money and I didn't know how to hold a job for long. And I didn't know how to do stuff. And, like, and, you know, like, the superficial thing is, like, oh, Chris, you need stability and you need to be, be a more stable, calm, more comfortable person. It's like, no, nah, man, it's way deeper than that. Because that was that was a conversation topic before. It was like, oh, Chris, you just need to be more stable and calm, you know, and then you'll be able to hold a job. And it's like, no, nah, it's so much deeper than that. Like, it's like I've been misled into believing in some Freudian, backward, fucking, complete mammal, like, complete, you know, the, if you, like, the, the mammalian side of being a human is thinking that if you just impress your parents you will win over the heart of God, you know, like, if you just get your partner to love you, you just get someone to love you, aka, you know, whatever, it's just mammal shit, you know, to be honest, if you didn't know, it's just mammal stuff, it's because we're fucking mammals, and when we're kids, we look at our parents as if they are God, you know, and that's just a mammalian thing that humans happen to have going for them, but yeah, I was foolish enough to just think if a girl loved me, it would just sort everything out, it's so... And it, obviously, that's really bad, you know? Like, think about that for a minute. Like, I really fucking mean it when I say, like, I bet all my chips on... That's the thing, I'm young. There's still time for me to fix this. But imagine, like, thinking that if you just get your hot girlfriend to love you, everything would sort itself out and somehow you'd magically become the person you'd always wanted to be. No. No. That did not happen. And, like, to you, that's just, like, duh, you know? But I was... So, yeah. It's okay. I've kind of figured it out now, and I'm going to slowly... Actually, I don't even know about slowly. I'm going to get myself together. I'm going to sort myself out. I'm going to do what I need to do to get where I need to go. But... Yeah, I'm definitely upset about the fact that I fully invested myself into a into a belief that doesn't make any sense and led me nowhere. I mean, it didn't really lead me nowhere. Like, I've learned a lot and stuff. But, like, like imagine running towards something at full pelt and then just getting there and realising I actually need to go in the other direction. You know, like... The ability to be able to be good at like business or like make money involves being quite being you know one you could say callous on one level but really it, it takes being very detached and very strong emotionally and you know being lovey-dovey and chasing after girls and like wanting to be liked is the antithesis to that essentially i mean in certain respects i know that there's like a you know there's uh you know, like, there's a point where everything I'm saying doesn't make sense, where, I don't know, like, what, whatever. I can't be bothered to explain. Um, in other words, I'm not blind to the fact that people that are successful still have to contend with 
no, no, it's not to contend with. Like, like a lot of guys that are successful, they're you know they're very attractive to women and stuff, and that's fine. But then also, you could argue a lot of them are just attracted to the money and not to you, you know. And as soon as the money goes, they go and stuff. And I mean, that's a that's a thing. Um, but yeah. yeah, so I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'd have to sort that out, and then yeah, it's not so bad. It's alright, but yeah, I mean, I did. Uh, it's just. Uh, I wish it was embarrassing because if it was embarrassing, it would mean it wasn't as bad. It's not embarrassing. It's just painful. It's just sad and painful and kind of like, you know, I, I never knew what it was like for someone to do something really stupid with like full heart, you know, sometimes you see them, you see someone who's like doing something with their life and you're like, you're an idiot, you know, but I never realized that I never knew how it felt to be that, you know, to be one of those people that you can see like, oh, that's no, I can't even laugh at you because you're like, that's just tragic. Like, that's just sad. You know, that's just kind of sad. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I wish it was funny or embarrassing. I mean, someone could laugh. I don't even care. It's so painful, man. <laughs> like, it's so painful to like, you know, like fall in love with someone and and then realize not only they aren't the answer, but the very thing they want from you, you haven't developed in yourself because you thought they had it. <laughs> you know, you thought she <laughs> held the key. And I suppose in some respects she did because I am, I'm only at this place where I can see my life in a very objective, analytical, like kind of overviewy way because of the experiences I had with her. That made me like this but then I also don't think that it was great that I spent years of most of my life like a lot of my life believing that just getting the love of a woman would somehow make me the man person that I want to be because it didn't and so understandably there's a lot of anger there and you know I look forward to the day that I want a woman in my life again because I can't, I can't want a woman in my life. Because in my books and in my way of viewing the reality that I live in and my world, I'm not satisfied. Like I don't want a woman to join me here. And like, yeah, I don't want a fucking woman to join me. I don't sex I'm I, like sex isn't good enough anymore you know I can't just like I wish I could just bring a girl back here and be like yeah <laughs> but like I just can't I am truly soured against the easy short term quick bursts of relief that you can get from the opposite gender you know whoever that is for you. Like, I'm sick of those bursts of relief because they never lead to what, like, like I wanted to be able to do things with my life. Like I wanted power, but I thought it lay in between a woman's legs or in a woman's head or in their chest. And it not only did it not, was it not there, <laughs> Like, you develop those skills in the absence of a woman generally, though paradoxically women tend to flock to men that don't need them, I suppose. But I suppose that's the point, really, isn't it? But yeah, I mean... Like, I thought I'd become the man that I'd always wanted to be if I became... If I was... If I, if I was, uh, if my ex loved me or if I slept with enough women and that didn't, like I didn't become, like, 
okay, it's kind of a paradox again as well, because it's like, I did, like, in, in having that experience, like, it was only through meeting her and falling in love with her and, and fully throwing myself at a woman completely did I actually realise that this was not the answer. Not only do they not have the answer, the answer is in the other direction. So I guess, paradoxically, I had to... I had to fully... Well, I guess, yeah, how would I find it? Because because at, at the end of the day, before I even had a relationship, I didn't even know I thought this stuff. I just knew I felt a very strong magnetic pull towards women. Very, very strong, and it would interrupt things. But I didn't consider interruptions because I was so... I was so enraptured and enthralled by women that I couldn't even think about my life, my own life. I would consider... Like, there was a phase in my life, and I think some people never leave this phase where the other gender is so exciting that years you could potentially spend your whole life just chasing them and never really get anywhere because you never really go full send with it but if you do go full send with it you actually realize that at least i did where i realized how incapable i was of creating the life i wanted because i'd always like i don't know i'm trying to say something that's like very abstract and quite broad like some people have the fortune of being um taught Otherwise, from a young age, but anyway. Yeah, this is getting long, and I don't really want to go into it anymore, but, um... Yeah. Um, what, what could I... I made a lot of mistakes. But I think that also means that I can figure things out. So I will figure things out. Anyway, I'm out.